Hi everyone, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be doing a haul uh, from Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I just went within the past week or so and found some really cool stuff that I thought would be kind of cool to show you. If you are curious on my eyes today, I am playing around with the Smoky Glow palette from Midas Cosmetics. It is super duper duper uh, pretty so far, I really like it, but we have up a review on this if you are curious probably next video i'll see but it will be up soon yeah let's go ahead and get started with the little mini haul so first I went to marshall's i'll be honest the marshall's by me was kind of like no but i did find a couple things so i'll kind of just show you what i got so the first thing i got is a real techniques uh, makeup brush the stippling brush i've always wanted to try this i've had their other brushes and they work just fine this is in a clearance section for $3, which I'm pretty sure is a way better deal than they probably normally around like $12 or something. So that's kind of why I picked it up. Next thing, I ended up also seeing this at TJ Maxx. So that's where I'm like, meh. But it is the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. I believe this palette is like three years old, two years old. When I kind of looked up other videos on to see how old it was, it's quite a few years old. I do remember this palette around when the electric palette came out. So I think it was the palette after, if I'm correct, because it has the very, very similar uh, packaging. It's just a little bit smaller. But these shades, I played around a little bit with them. The shades are very pretty and really kind of sparkly and just fun to have. And honestly, I don't know how good this palette did when it first came out, but I feel like they're really, that green is super good. Just to note, these do transfer. I did use the NYX Glitter Glue, but I still have them kind of transferring up. I don't know, I need to play around and kind of figure out if there's a way to like seal it. But at least on me, they did transfer up. So just FYI, but they are still really pretty. And this palette was $17.99 at Marshalls. But again, it was also at TJ Maxx, so check there out as well. Okay, next thing. Last thing for Marshalls, I know, I'm weird. I've really been, I've always loved Elizabeth Arden fragrances. It's a fragrance brand that my mom wore when I was growing up, mainly. She wore Red Door was the main fragrance. You know, since then I kind of, I guess was addicted to their fragrances, I don't know. So, this is just green tea and honeysuckle. I feel like trying it, it was 20 bucks. Probably a bit overpriced, I don't know. But there's something kind of cool, especially a little vintage with Elizabeth Arden, so I found that interesting. But anyways, who cares about that? Let's jump on over to TJ Maxx. So, the TJ Maxx by me, holy tamale, I don't know, not a word, but whatever, there, the TJ Maxx by me had significantly way better stuff, was way cleaner, uh, Marshalls, I think they're the same company or something together, the Marshalls by me was like a hot, freaking mess. It was so dis I mean, like, everything, you know, not necessarily disgusting, but it's just, I mean, it killed me, because they had Anastasia, I think the Moon Dust palette, two of them, completely smashed, just, and I know this is normal for, like, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but, I don't know. Needless to say, I don't think I'm gonna go to that Marshalls anytime soon, because, yeah, I just, mm, no. I will probably check out the TJ Maxx first, because, again, the main stuff that I found at Marshalls, TJ Maxx had, but whatever. So, first thing we'll talk about is they had an Anastasia eyeshadow. This is the shade Real Gar, I think. Mm. It's like a brownish, kind of warm color. Maybe it's more red, I don't know, sorry. It's really pretty, it was only $4. Honestly, I think knowing how good ABH's um, formula is, Anytime I see these kind of shades, especially if it's ones that I find interesting or just kind of a good neutral to have, I'm just going to pick them up. Four bucks is pretty good to me compared to, I don't know what they normally cost, maybe $10, $12, whatever. It's a discount. It's a significant discount and the shade is really good. So, love that. Next, okay, one that I did see and I kind of, I remember, I don't think this is super popular when it came out, but it is just their coral, um... Lip shades, honestly, I kind of just really like the packaging. It's really pretty. Um, the shades are actually really nice, but the only one I'm probably really gonna wear is this corally orange red kind of one. Um, the other ones are just really coral on me and I just don't feel like it'll look good. 
But I mean, I can always play around and try it out. But anyways, this was $14.99. And these are full-size lipsticks. I did not think they were full-size. Love that. Next, I do have this, but I watched another video and I could not help it when I heard that the Alyssa Edwards one was there. I had to pick it up. I bought this sucker during Christmas time for $42. I bought this for $19.99. I, oops, sorry, if you haven't used it at all, because I already have another one, but this is such a good palette. And I, I love rainbow makeup, obviously. My channel's called Rainbow of Makeup. But this palette is so good and it's just mm, very pretty. I definitely would recommend if you're looking for some colorful shades. I think they're really good. So, especially for the deal, yes. Another ABH palette. I'll be honest, as I see ABH palettes there, I'm probably just going to pick them up. Especially, one thing I've been noticing a lot about ABH palettes is the shimmers in them are so good. Like, even if, because, you know, obviously from Christmas, like, what's this one that I have? I have Soft Glam. Now, again, this is not a bad palette, but these are not normal colors that I would wear, but they have awesome shimmers. They have some mattes. I just feel like these are really good, and, I mean, obviously, this retails for $42. Again, you can find them close to half off. You might as well. So, they did have, and I'm super stoked, from Summer, the Riviera palette. It's really pretty. You know, honestly, again, it's something that it's like, did I need this? No. But, I mean, and I played around. Oh my god, the shade. This is where even I would shade the shimmers. The shade Mediterranean oh, is, I mean, it's just really pretty. So, that's something I'm really liking with their palettes. Their mattes are great too, do not get me wrong, but I notice when I'm using other palettes or whatever and I want a, you know, a pretty shimmer shade, ABH. I will reach for their palettes any day. Very good. Okay. Went ahead and picked, oh, I didn't say, the ABH palette was $24.99, so significantly more expensive, but um, I still think this one might retail for 42 on their website. I don't know, so whatever, I'm happy to have it, but... I went ahead and picked up the Stila, what are these called? Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow Set, Liquid Eyeshadow Set. I had never tried this stuff before. This is, I think, from Christmas. So they're just little minis, but honestly, they are really pretty. I haven't used them yet, like on my eyes. I've swatched them, but I mean, they're just really pretty. Oh, so you can even see in the light. That's really nice. This, I believe, was $12.99 for three of these. I don't know which was originally. It's saying it was $17. I, I don't know, whatever. It's a discount. At least I'm now able to try them. I've always seen them in videos. And especially with higher-end makeup, depending, it's really difficult for me to bite the bullet and actually, like, be like, okay, let's do it. Um, so, yeah. Also, one thing, as I'm um, going to these stores... I'm usually on the lookout for perfumes. So as you saw, I bought the Elizabeth Arden one. Um, I've been looking for, you know, just to try different perfumes. You know you're gonna get them discounted. It's a better deal, why not? Um, they had, sorry, I tore into this. This gift set, Jesus, there we go, by Kate Spade. Just some of her fragrances. Honestly, from what I smell, they smell super good. Um, this was $24. This may not be the best deal, because it retails for $30, but, you know, I'm so happy with it, I'll be honest. This smell and this smell, I love. I wish I liked the two middle ones, because I feel like they are, yeah, they're identical, and I just, they're okay, but they're nothing special, but whatever. So, you love and you learn sometimes. I'm sure I can find somebody who liked the fragrance and I can give it to or whatever. Um, anyway, so that wraps up our lovely little uh, makeup haul today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I found at TJ Maxx. This is something I think would be kind of cool to do more frequently. I may not do it all the time because, of course, budgetary reasons. It's not something I can necessarily 
afford to do all the all the time. Um, but yeah, so that will be the end of this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed. If there is anything that I showed that you would like maybe a little tutorial on, some swatches, uh, whatever, or kind of maybe how I personally would use it, go ahead and leave me a comment. Also, I'd love it if you would join us and subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So I will see you guys on my next video. Okay, goodbye.